it's totally outrageous that a U.S. EU agreement would put forward special privileges and rights just for foreign investors and give them a whole special system, extrajudicial tribunals, to try and get their rights by attacking the governments and claiming our tax dollars. So both the U.S. and the EU have very strong property rights laws, very well-functioning courts. So there's only one purpose for this system. It's to give new rights and powers just to one class, giving them more power relative to citizens or governments. And the implications of this are really dangerous because with the United States, we've seen for 20 years of NAFTA, on which this model is based, a whole series of important public interest laws attacked by corporations in the investor tribunals successfully. We have seen attacks on mining laws. There's now an attack against a fracking ban. We've seen attacks on medicine patent laws, on toxics bans, on zoning, on land use, on water rights, on timber policy. Now even Egypt's increase in the minimum wage since their revolution is being attacked by a British company. The black empowerment law in South Africa is being attacked by a mining company from Belgium. All of our most basic rights and laws are under siege in this regime. There's no place for it in a U.S.-EU agreement.